Hi guys, let's have a very quick look at the D-Link DSL320B ADSL2 Plus modem. Okay, this is the Z1 version, and let's have a quick look and see what's in the box. The usual paperwork and CD, good documentation. This is a very cheap budget um, connectivity device with no wireless, a single Ethernet connection, as you'll see in a minute, is the power supply. We've got uh, Ethernet cable. A filter, okay, that's an ADSL and telephone filter, and telephone cable, and the device itself. So you've got everything in the box that you need to connect, which is great. A power switch, a power input port, the yellow port is the Ethernet out port that goes to your computer, and the grey port is the one that connects through the filter to your telephone. So a very basic device, okay, no wireless connection, remember. Four indicator lights on the front. I won't go into the details. Okay, and obviously this is aimed at a market of people on a very limited budget. This is a MediaTek Trendship device based on the uh, MediaTek Trendship chipset. And I've had problems with these uh, devices connectivity wise in the past. Let's have a quick look at the interface. Okay, so put in the default uh, address to the interface default password and username okay and we can see the web interface which is um, a, not an advanced interface but it is functional and um, what you can see that you've got the basic I've got a setup wizard and you've got the configuration options for the device itself okay just to bear in mind I've upgraded the firmware on mine to 1.06 the 1.05 version had some known sec serious security issues and it's not recommended to use this device um, with the old firmware. Okay, as you can see, there's a lengthy delay when you um, give requests to the web interface. This is not a powerful device, as you might expect, for 12 UK pounds. Okay, but it is functional. Okay, so I wanted to show this in use. I don't want to go into a huge amount of detail, but it is a functional interface. Um, you should update the firmware if you buy one, but it isn't an advanced user interface, and obviously the device only has a very few features. Okay, basically this would suit someone just to connect to a single computer, obviously no wireless access for a home. So would I recommend this device to people looking for a budget option to connect themselves to the internet? And the answer to that is no. Um, during a 24 hour period on my admittedly difficult line on ADSL2+, Plus, it can drop the connection 13 times in a 24 hour period and I had a lot of connectivity issues and problems. The MediaTek and Trendchip, MediaTek Trendchip chipset. Um, I have found that with other devices with the same chipset, that you get connectivity problems on my line. Broadcom chipsets, no problem. For the next three days since I disconnected this device, no, no issues. So on the positive side, it's a very cheap device and it does work. Negative side, the interface is a bit clunky. It only has a single LAN port, so no options for you to connect to the devices. No wireless and it has a very poor connectivity and also has a known security issue. So in my view, a bit of a dud. One to avoid this one.